Hi, this is Richard. We're doing a quick tip on Blender, how to use curves. If you're new to curves, they might seem a little useless. You'll hit Shift A and you'll go to curve and you'll add a easier curve, BZA. Don't know how to pronounce it. I really should learn. I have said it, probably said it wrong lots of times. And you can scale it up. It's not really doing much. I mean, you can rotate it, not doing much. And then you tab into edit mode and you get this weird fishbone pattern. You've got these weird pink splines. And if you drag them, it's going to deform your mesh based on your perspective. And then you can do all the same things that you can do normally. We can lock that to the Y axis or we can uh, say just not the uh, Z and then it's only on the XY plane. And that's perfectly fine. Um, and then you can grab it here in the middle and you can move this whole vert this little node here and change its shape so let's just change this a little bit make it a little bit loopy wonky there we go now if you try to render this let's go into camera mode look right at this all right looks good we got that line Let's render it you get nothing you're not gonna see anything it's pretty useless for that so how do we uh, render this how do we use it because maybe a curve this way you get a nice smooth curve maybe it would be better uh, for making like cables electrical cables that are swinging or things like that so let's go here to curve you see in our properties view uh, we now have this curve button since we have a curve selected and we can go here to fill and then we can go down here to the bevel and turn this up and now you see we have it's like this square tube and if we turn the resolution up this is kind of like subsurf uh, it's going to add in sides here make it more round there we go that looks pretty good it's a nice tube what if you wanted to make it a tree uh, you wanted to proportionally expand this side and make this side taper off, things like that. You wanted to unwrap it, add creases, um, get a nice islanded uh, UV map so that you could add your own textures or paint textures on it if this was a branch of a tree. Well, let's go back into object mode and hit Alt-C. This is going to convert. Alt-C converts into a mesh from the curve that you have. Now if we tab back into edit mode, well, now you've got polygons and all those little faces. So we can pretty easily grab this, turn on our proportional editing, hit scale, and create the taper for this. If it's a tree branch, it'll look pretty nice. There we go, and then we can select this one, there we go, and scale it down a bit. All right. Now we've got our nice, weird shaped tree branch. Or you can use the add-on like I've explained in the add-ons uh, video, but this is how you use curves and how you change them into a mesh. Now you might have also seen Alt-C to change a mesh into a curve. And if we do this, look, it, it didn't work right. It doesn't know how to turn uh, solid meshes into curves. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let's add in a plane and go to edit mode and delete it so that we have an empty object and then we're in vert mode so let's hold control and just draw a line of verts now we have this weird line of verts select all of it and we'll go to object mode now if we hit alt c let's turn this into a curve from our mesh and we tab back in and now we have an actual curve that you can then go in and manipulate and why do we want a curve like this why would we want to turn a mesh into a curve well let me show you let's just pretend this original curve was originally a mesh we're gonna to go to our cylinder modifiers and to curve right here and then we're gonna make this mesh apply to our bezier curve Now you can see that it's going to deform this mesh based on the curve. So 
let's redo this and redo this so that I can show it to you a little bit better. We're just going to add a curve, add a cylinder. We're going to rotate this on the Y 90 degrees. And let's scale it down and then scale it on the X. Nice bit. And then we have to add some more vertices for it to deform along the curve. Now you can see it a bit better. I have that curve inside of this, and it deforms along that curve. And if we select the Bezier curve, we can then grab these splines and move it before we apply our modifier to get just the right shape. This is great for making um, things like a teacup handle or wires or anything that you need curved that would be pretty difficult to do just by hand, you can apply this curve modifier and that's why curves are really good. Or if you just need a cable that's all the same width real quickly, just use a curve and hit bevel and then you can render it. So I've shown you a few different ways to use curves and why they're important. Let me show you one more thing. See I've got this one here in the middle and this one here. If I hit control and click from the middle, it'll add another length to my curve. And you can add as many of these as you need. Make your curve as, as complex as you want. Then if we go back to our cylinder, you can see it'll just go all the way along it. And that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something about curves and you'll be able to introduce them into your workflow so you can get better results in Blender. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.